Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over a medium leak code problem, 1161, maximum level sum of a binary tree. So over here we have the definition, uh, we can just get rid of that. So basically what is it asking? So we have this tree and we go through all the levels, level by level, so this screams BFS, right? And we get the maximum level sum. So the sum of this level is one, some of this level is seven, some of this level is negative one. So uh, this is actually the max level, uh, which is uh, seven. And this is, we return the level, right? So this is level two. Uh, so we have to keep track of a few things. Uh, we have to keep track of the current max sum as we're going level by level, and also the current level that we're on, so we know to replace it, right? So let's set up a few things here. So we know that we'll need a max level, so we'll just assume it's zero at the beginning, and we'll also need a max sum, right? And then at the end, we know we're gonna return max level. The next thing we want is we're gonna be using BFS because it's just natural to go level by level with BFS. So we know we'll need a queue for this. So we'll go queue, uh, tree node, queue equals new length list. So let's actually check the constraints really quick. Uh, looks like the number of nodes is in the range one to 10 to the fourth. So there will be at least one non-null node. So we can just add the root. That's why I checked that. And then the next thing we wanna go is while the queue is not empty, right? So while it has some size, keep going through it. Then we wanna get this current level. And we also do wanna keep track of the current level. So I'm just gonna make another variable called cur level. And then from here, and actually uh, it's starting at one, so we'll go one. So let's go through the queue here. And we know that we'll have to get the size of the current code. Uh, so sorry, the size of the current queue. So the reason why we do this is because this is actually the level, right? Uh, everything in the queue at this point is the current level. So we'll also keep track of a current sum, like a running sum basically. And then we wanna go through size times and pick off each node from the queue. So we'll go tree node cur equals queue.pull to uh, pop or remove or whatever from the queue. Uh, and then the next thing we want to do is add to the sum this value. Then we also want to make sure that the cur.left is not equal to null, so we can add that to the queue as well. So we'll go uh, q.add cur.left. Uh, we'll take this, copy it down, do the same thing for right. And then after this, we have the sum of everything on this level, right? Uh, we went through and we've... Uh, went through each level, we have uh, went through each node in that level's children, we've added those to the end of the queue, we're only iterating size time, so this is the current level. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually check if sum is greater than the max sum, right? And let's actually, uh, because these can be negative, let's actually make max sum uh, integer dot min value at the beginning, and let's do that. So from here what we want is we wanna make sure if sum is greater than max sum, so we gotta set a new max, right? Max sum is equal to sum. Then we also want max level is equal to current level. And then at the very end, all we have to do is just increment cur level because it's the only really way we could keep track of what level we're on. And let's go ahead and run this. This should actually be good. And looks like it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and submit this. And yeah, it looks pretty good, uh, 45%, 19%. Let's talk about time and space. Uh, time is O of N, uh, where N is the number of nodes. The reason being is we just have to visit every single node. And you see like a loop inside of a loop, so you're probably thinking, why is this not N squared? Well, it's simple because we really are just visiting every single node, right? This is just to get the size of the current queue. And we're just going, we're filling up the queue and then we're picking off the queue one by one. So it's really just O of N. And then space here, uh, it's actually O of N2 because we have this queue and we have to put the nodes in. Uh, even though it really only would be the max of the max size of any given level. But we're going to call it O of N because we use a queue there. And then, yeah, hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.